Good evening to all of you and I guess this video is for the parents and the class 8th students. See so many times I get uh, query from the parents as well as students also, okay, what is the exactly right time to start the IOQM preparation. See it does not matter if you are in 8th class, 9th class, 10th class, you can start. But ideally if you ask me, then the best time to start the IOQM preparation or Olympiad preparation is the 8th class onwards. There is the reason behind it. And IOQM examination will take place there according to examination condition is also there that ki 8th class issuant onwards can be written. So IOQM examination 8th to 12th any issuant can write. But the correct things is there from the 8th class itself. There is a simple reason behind it. See, eighth class, first time we introduce with the algebra, we introduce with the geometry, we introduce with the uh, other topic like uh, polynomial, all those concepts we are learning first time. Before we develop some wrong way of learning mathematics, it's always better to start with the proper way of learning mathematics. IOQM or Mathematics Olympiad is not for that ki, uh, you will be you are going to get select in top 6 student or something. This is for that ki your correct way of mathematics learning should take place. Right? So this is the class 8. So, uh, today's my video talk will be there for the 8th class student and their parents. For the 9th, 10th, I will make separate video. In 8th class, when you start your school, uh, miss, your 8th class is going on right now, I think. Uh, it will be <clears throat> so here what exactly has to be done in the eighth class when you learn your mathematics little bit more deeper you have to go that's all I'm not saying ki for eighth class sir this will be burden I have to finish my school also I have to finish my IOQM please do not try to separate mathematics Mathematics is a single, either your school is there or IUQM is there or whatever is there. If you are learning mathematics, it's the same. There is no difference. Only thing you have to study more detail. Let me explain by the example. All of you know how to find out the LCM of anything. Let's say 3 and 5. Yes, sir, we know. Here, when you are learning LCM, why you are learning only with the integers? Why not learn of the LCM of some polynomial also? Ki some polynomial into some other polynomial. How to get the LCM of that? Concept is same, little bit more extended form. So, it is always better because when you go to this level, what will happen? This level will become very easy. If you are in 8th class now, if I ask you 5th class mathematics, it will become very easy for you. So, do not try to make an assumption that ki 8th class, 9th class, 10th class mathematics is different and IOQ mathematics is different. No, not at all. If from day 1, if you do like this, it will never be different. Generally, I seen that ki IOQ registration get start from the uh, in month of June end or July first week. That time, a student used to wake up and they say, okay, let me prepare IOQ. Is there any crash course is there or any short videos are there? Or there is the, nowadays on YouTube, it's a very common eh, marathon, one short video. These are nothing but killing time. You, you are going to spoil your time. Mathematics never come in one month or two months. It's a, it's a long process. You learn something and then you spend one week time for analyzing that and practicing that one. So that is why my best bet is of the class 8th. These students can do much better than the any other class student. I'm not saying they cannot do, but there the chances probability is more. What are the chapters? Let's see. I don't want to make it big this video so that we can save our time and your time. This may be if you are CBSC board students in eighth class, ICSC also these topics are there. Some extra topic will be there. These are topic from your eighth class only. And these are the questions comes from the, in the IOQM also. Number system will be there, algebra will be there, 
ratio and proportion is there all of you know okay geometry is there geometry little bit you study little bit more you have to study combinatorics yes this is the new topic which is not in the 8th class this is also new not in the 8th class but combinatorics is that a 6th class child can understand it's a logic it's a simple logic based thing we if i say from a to b there are two way to go from b to c there are three way to go right how many way you can go from a to c there is no mathematics required bhai there are two way here and three way here so two into three six waves will be there simple logic so this is the logic actually they wanted to check how logically you can think this is logic based chapter and i believe eighth class child can understand this basic trigonometry of course this is the topic which generally students learn in 9th and 10th but if you are really preparing for iqm you can go ahead with the this if you are not you are skipping this also no problem this is more than enough to uh, solve the question for the iqm clearing the iqm right so this is the two things which i feel that key you should know the chapter now the question arises ki sir how, how what book we have to follow of course you have to follow the your school book that is the first primary until unless that you don't know you can't do anything so books when we are going to discuss your primary books is that your first is the school book first school book which school book if you are cbsc ncert book if you are icsc whatever icsc book you are following if you are state board whatever state book you are following that has to be known first things you have to study from there the next things what i suggest to all the this is a more than 100 year old book hall and knight algebra this will give you real picture of the algebra very simple very beautiful book i suggest every student to do thoroughly this book and second is the slightly tougher book but in third level first school level then second this you have to do then only third you have to enter into this here you need help of course this is the third stage will be there and once you start doing this way na you will enjoy mathematics and that is the main purpose of preparing iqm so in the iqm this is the what uh, i suggest for the 8th class student and uh, those student who wanted to go for the 8th class the uh, my class will get to start from the 2nd of october and registration form in the link please go ahead and come and join the way i will follow i will follow this structure only i will start with this book this book whatever chapter like first chapter itself is the ratio and proportion ratio and proportion which is there in your 8th class also but we will do that the first chapter here this and that you can do from your school book also the similarly all the chapters will be covered up from here then we will be slowly will be entering into this reaching here to here it will take around 5 month time 6 month time but believe me if you once you finish this one your so much things will be complete right so if you like mathematics go ahead and start your iqm preparation iqm preparation don't think it's a different it's the same mathematics but more deeper and that's what we need right so this is the what the 8th class and about iqm i hope everybody know so i'm not discussing that that will be separate video is is there what is the exactly iqm and all mathematics olympiad this is the first stage of mathematics olympiad every time i am speaking september first week will be the examination Miss September first week of two thousand twenty-five. That time you will reach in ninth class. Will be the examination, right? That will be the examination. It's a very simple examination, but it cannot be prepared in one month, two month. Believe me, it's require at least one year time to spend it. Right? Thank you very much. And ninth, tenth class, I will make separate video for them. Okay, what are chapter and what are the books they have to follow? Thank you.